We are fighting for the Okavango, Okavango Delta. Ay, ay. Welcome to the legendary jewel of Africa's Kalahari, the Okavango Delta. Surrounded by desert, this gem is home to Africa's last great elephant herd. Rhinos, wild dogs, big cats, and many other endangered species, as well as some of the planet's most ancient cultures. The Okavango Delta is the continent's last great untouched oasis. But just 250 kilometers upriver is an area licensed for fossil fuel exploration by Namibia and Botswana. It casts a slick black shadow over the Kavango and our suffering earth. We're looking for uh, underexplored areas in the world with the potential for large discoveries of oil and gas. And Namibia came out very high on that list. A very large basin in the northeast corner called the Kavango Basin. We took a license for that area, and now we're moving ahead to explore it. We expect to confirm the existence of a working hydrocarbon system. The sky's the limit for this company when we do that. Humans and wildlife have lived in harmony here for millennia. Yet now Canada's Recon Africa has been granted a license to drill with the potential to extract 120 billion barrels of oil and gas. We're standing up against Recon Africa, which is coming with a destructive deal in the Okavango Delta drilling for gas and oil. A deal which threatens every corner of our planet. I'm really ashamed that it's a Canadian mining company trying to go into a biodiversity hotspot as important as the Kavango Delta. We ought to be ending all exploration and production of oil. As money and profit are prioritized, we are driven towards a sixth great mass extinction. But for fossil fuel companies, it's business as usual, a business that has scarcely changed since 1956, when the first commercially viable oil wells began to pollute the Niger Delta in Nigeria. I would not live with myself if I allowed this to become another Niger Delta and destroy an entire ecosystem. Our people are jobless, the areas have been destroyed, the waters have been polluted. No profits can justify the death and destruction left in its wake. The impacts of the climate emergency are already taking their toll on Southern Africa. I say to these people who are critics who have likely never been to Namibia, uh, let alone the Kavango region, come to the Kavango and let's just have a look at the environment. This used to be a soccer field. This belongs to the community. Who we'll gave the right to Recon Africa to take this away from the community? Recon Africa predicts uh, taking around 120 billion barrels of oil. That's up to 51.6 gigatons of carbon dioxide from the Congo Delta. This represents one sixth of the remaining carbon budget available to all of us if we're to have any hope of surviving global heating. In short, we are looking at a carbon bomb lying beneath the paradise that is the Kavango region. And the fundamental resource, that resource, is in fact becoming more and more precious for the simple reason is that the world has no empty places. Disruption, it is likely or most likely to cause to wildlife and the danger it poses to underground water and local drinking water. 
And they've also been seen to um, construct the contamination ponds which host radioactive brines. Just above the potential oil field, the precious water flows through the desert. If this water is polluted, it will devastate local communities and rich and delicate ecosystems. We know the oil will be a benefit to those that have cars, but they should also remember that not everybody has a car. We are to suffer more compared to those that they are trying to help. We don't need the oil company because our grazing lands will suffer from petrol and our cattle will have nowhere to eat. Our farmlands will be acidic, for the farmers won't be able to farm anymore. Our water, our rivers will be filled with oil. Profit for a few cannot continue to come before the well-being of all. Do you see the irony of exploring for oil in this very spot? I think you got, you know, the oil is where you find it. That's all, folks. Putting money into this sort of thing now is not only morally and environmentally reprehensible, it's also a stupid bet. A stupidity that is rapidly pushing our living systems towards destruction. Promises on climate regulations in the global north ring empty when all companies affected by them have to do is find a country somewhere needing financial boost and with great exploitation potential. People are outraged across Canada to imagine that a Canadian company wants to develop fossil fuels to speed the climate emergency. Indigenous rights and local people's rights are being ignored. The destruction is already underway. Exploratory drilling has begun, but it's not too late. We're all putting in our voices of opposition to this endeavor. Canada, you want to call yourself a climate leader? Well then, show us. Here and overseas, the Canadian government must start recognizing indigenous sovereignty. Please do not destroy our water in Okavango Delta. We're in it together. We're all in this together. A powerful global campaign led by Namibians has rippled from Vancouver to Sydney. Inspired by Africa's frontline defenders, we are committed to save the Kavango. Of the state that Recon Africa will leave Namibia in when they are done drilling for oil, it's not going to be their business anymore. Instead of drilling for more oil and gas, we need clean energy, such as solar electricity and wind power. To stand even a small chance of avoiding environmental collapse, we must leave oil and gas in the ground and listen to the voices of Africa. Otherwise, the Paris Agreement is not worth the paper it's printed on. And this means defending the Okavango from fossil fuel companies. What happens in Kavango? Won't stay in Kavango. What happens in the Kavango? Won't stay in Kavango. What happens in Kavango? Won't stay in Kavango. What happened in Kavango? Won't stay in Kavango. Betemba e oikova Kavango. Nda puta mo an in Kavango. What happens in Kavango? Won't stay in Kavango. What happens in Kavango? Won't stay in Kavango. What happens in Kavango? Won't stay in Kavango.